Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Beaver Challenger Battlefield. Over the last weekend, my son and I got two new animals, one for Jurassic Park, the other is the one we rescued, the second rescued DNA in the uh, time that we started playing the game, uh, who, which is a uh, which belongs to Aquatic Park and its material uh, hinges. I will show you later. You probably have noticed that I started to build my final layout in my Jurassic Park and I haven't finished yet but I'm pretty satisfied with it. I still uh, put all the carnivores together and this is my carnivore park and um, I can still play Code Red if I would like to and this is the family safari lodges and I have this section here it's the birch park and there were three birds in my Jurassic Park if in case little deer uh, push out more birds I still have space for new birds for example this area and also I can open up a new um, uh, new park here by doing the uh, expansion and this part is for um, entertaining purpose and there's no animal kept here and this part my son and I think those four animals look like so we keep them together And uh, I have Tuajangasaurus and Stegosaurus who have exactly the same animation. I kept them in the middle line uh, after the entry to the park. So this is my middle line of the park. And for this part, I put uh, all the ceratops or triceratops, uh, Pachyrhinosaurus. They all have two horns in the head and also Nostroceratops here. And this place I put the Gyrosaurus and Galaminus who have the same animation too. And these two little guys here, I think they look very beautiful and special. Currently I Put them here, but probably later I will move them if I have more animal, um, more animals adding to the Jurassic Park. And this area is for all the long neck animals, and I also have a uh, expansion area in case there are new long neck animals adding. For example, uh, Shamosaurus, which I haven't rescued yet. Now my new park looks very attractive to me, at least I don't know how it looks to you. I am welcoming any comments. And let's go to the battlefield. I have played battles over more than 10,000 times, I believe, for the past almost four months playing the game. And I would group the battles, the stage of battles, into three types. I would say stage 1 to stage 10 those battles are kind of bony battles because if you play uh, within those stage battles you get limited food and very limited coins it's not that very helpful in adding more food or coins to your assets uh, the juicy part or the meaty part will be starting from stage 11 to stage 20. I don't usually play the whole integer, uh, whole tense integer uh, stage battles because they usually have like a big jump in the opponent's uh, ferocity. But I would say from stage 11 to stage 20, those stage battles will give you more food and more coins and without worrying that your opponent will use specials or they will use blocks against you. And all the battles beyond stage 20, I would call them risky battles. Of course, by name, 
risky means that you will lose your animal when you battle against your opponents or you will have to use more claws in order to win the game the, the most claws or the most blocks I have used in one battle is over 1500 claws I, uh, I blocked my animals more than 8 times I think 8 or 9 times in order to win the game when I was using my Stegosaurus to win uh, the gold prize for some stages so but of course higher risk will give you higher reward if you win the um, battles uh, beyond stage 20 you will have more food more coins for sure but you need to look out for the blocks and specials that your opponents will use uh, between stage 21 to 25 your opponents will only use specials they won't use uh, blocks but beyond stage 25 battles your opponents can use both the specials and blocks against you but I will share the tricks with you later on when I show the uh, animals battling in those stages I do have some tricks so today I'm going to show you the next animal in my queue which is Pachycephalosaurus and I use it usually for stage 13 battle because uh, its maximum damage is not that high uh, only 367 but it has a relatively long life so occasionally I will use it to battle uh, against the stage 14 animal depending on what I need if I need uh, more uh, grass for the food I will battle stage 14 if I need meat then I would battle uh, for the stage 13 animals so let's start my first opponent is the Ratosaurus it's afraid of swipe I'm going to use swipe to pick it out my second opponent is uh, Spinosaurus which is afraid of bite and my 367 damage won't take it out but it's good enough to trigger the switch because uh, after 367 damage on Spinosaurus the Spinosaurus will have only maybe 30 to 40 percent blood left and this will trigger the switch gives me three turns to attack my opponent the third opponent coming up to the stage is Brachiosaurus and it's the same afraid of bite and this will, will still keep it alive not completely wipe it out now I'm going to take down Spinosaurus by either bite or charge charge is the median attack against um, Spinosaurus oh this is the most exciting moment that I usually feel like if I see I have only that little blood left you will see how much blood I left when the game uh, finishes uh, let's bet how much blood I left you can't believe your eye my opponents are all gone I won the game and we will see Ooh, I have my Pachycephalosaurus Petri has only 0% blood left how come I still see some red in my um, health bar when I battled against my opponents why it shows only 0% because I guess it has 367 blood in total and if I my patchy guy has maybe one or two blood left it's less than 1% of 367 so on the uh, on the bar here it only tells you 0% blood left how exciting it is um, so there's no risk and I don't need to worry because this is 100% secure to win the game if I use my Petrocephalosaurus 
for stage 13. Okay, um, welcome any comments. I would like to see you next time. Bye.